Hello and welcome to the Paladin's Last Remains Balance Comparisons. Let's get started. Androxus' Cursed Revolver has a slew of nerfs. The duration of the bleed was reduced from 1.5 seconds to 1 second. The base damage was lowered from 11 to 10. The damage increase per tick was decreased from 1.5 a tick to 1 a tick. Additionally, the max damage per tick was lowered from 30 to 25. Here's the receiving end of a full mag. The flamethrower from Barrack's Dome Shield Ultimate had its range increased from 22 units to 30 units. Lost one standing and now, destroying the shield no longer destroys the flame turret. Bomb King's Royal Subject's talent now decreases your ammo by 2. Caspian's ammo count went up from 20 to 21. The Storm of Blades ultimate now refills your ammo. A dance of life and death! And the delay after spinning from Deadly Momentum has been lowered from 0.4 seconds to 0.175 seconds. One more time in slow-mo. Isle's Moonlight healing has been reduced from 150 to 135 a tick. Now Moonlight will heal 900 health a second, down from 1000. If you pick the Goddess's Blessing talent, your healing will be restored to 150 a tick. The lifelike talent's healing per second was up from 300 to 320. Lex's ultimate, The Law, had its pre-fire delay reduced from 1.2 seconds to 1 second. Additionally, using the ultimate resets the cooldown on In Pursuit. Koa's Leviathan talent now boosts his move speed by 20% when ulting. You the Barrier Reef card had its damage threshold increased from 800 to 1000. I will weather this storm. Octavia's Creeping Barrage no longer stops upon her death. This is our battlefield! An enemy has drawn first blood. Alright. The Distortion Field's cooldown now starts when the ability ends, but its cooldown has been lowered from 18 to 16 seconds. You won't see me. Pip's Mega Potion talent got its bonus healing reduced from 130% to 100%, but now the healing potion applies a stacking 200 HP shield to allies hit by it. Here's the catalyst. Additionally, Pip now receives full benefit from the augmented Mega Potion. Sati's Blastback had its cone size and effective radius lowered from 55 to 50 units, and the effective range and radius was lowered from 45 to 40 units. Strix's Crackshot talent has been reworked. The old talent would remove your headshot capabilities while adding a pathetic 50 burn damage over 3 seconds to your sniper hits. The new crack shot reduces Talon Rifle's damage from 1,200 to 900, but allows you to have perfect no-scope accuracy. The penalty of no headshots has been removed, and the Talon still has the burn damage as well. Killing spree. One kill. 
Additionally, Strix's Nocturnal Talent now provides him a 20% speed bonus when stealth. Cautiously. Torvald's Hyper Beam can now be cancelled by the user after 0.5 seconds. And the Thanks Grandpa Talent now reduces the cooldown of protection by 1 second. 7th Grappling Hook had its damage lowered from 300 to 200, and now it can no longer hook enemies. The Explosive Dodge's Knockback and Knockup Force have been lowered from 200 to 100. The Overcharge Talent is being reworked. The old one increased your ult charge rate by 50%, but changed your ultimate to fire a laser that did 1100 damage. The new Overcharged allows the Grappling Hook to once again pull in enemies. It also reduces the damage of Grappling Hook by 100, lowers its charge count to just 1, and decreases its cooldown by 2 seconds. The move speed provided by Victor's second win card is now applied after Hustle instead of during it, and the internal cooldown on the card has been lowered from 12 to 10 seconds. Vora's ultimate Harbinger's Wrath now refunds 25% ult charge if your target is killed during the stun portion of the ultimate. The damage reduction provided from the ultimate was increased from 30% to 40%, but in my testing the damage reduction was the same. The deadly size projectile speed was increased by 10%, in my footage, I couldn't tell the difference, even with slow-mo. The Tendril now has a cooldown of 10 seconds down from 12. However, picking the Relentless Presence talent will return the cooldown to 12 seconds. Dying is the easy part. Last up is Yagaroth. The shields provided from the Sight Begets Strength talent have been lowered from 125 to 90. And the Ultimate Devour had its minimum distance lowered from 45 units to 30 units. That's all the changes coming next patch. Let me know which ones you like and which ones you despise. Also, let me know if you would be interested in seeing more comparison videos for future patches. I'm Yellow Ninja, and peace.